Oh, it is bright and early. Good morning, you guys. Woo! This live is going out to Amanda. Amanda, I'm hoping that you join me live this morning. But if you don't, girl, because your morning isn't starting off as early, I know that as soon as you see it, you will hop on and you will appreciate this message. 1,200%. So this is absolutely for you, for you. Um, I am not doing a big look today. I'm just doing a little look today. But I wanted to share um, this new motto that I've adopted with you guys. I think it's helpful. I think it's necessary. And I think it's, well, I know it's absolutely necessary to live like your true authentic self. Like there are some things you're going to have to let go of. So I'm going to get right to that as soon as Facebook does its little thing and builds me a little audience. Good morning, guys. There we go. I always talk to myself for a minute hoping that people will join. Wondering if today is the day that Facebook doesn't build me an audience. So good morning, good morning, good morning. Um, we're just going to get ready, but I wanted to talk to you guys today about being a lighthouse. Literally, about being a lighthouse. And um, it's a really good visual, and it makes a lot of sense. It was a light bulb moment for me, for sure. And it's definitely something that you have to do if you are going to authentically follow your dreams. If you're going to do you, if you're going to go after that thing that has sparked your soul, you have absolutely, there's a few things you've got to do. There's a few things, and I want to talk about that today because it's some things that I am doing right now, and they are so freeing, um, so freeing, you know, and so that's what we're going to talk about. So you guys have seen my journey. You've kind of seen me being really, good morning, Delana. You've seen me being real vocal lately, super vocal, about how I'm going to do me, and unfortunately, the more you do you, the more you succeed, the more you take an authentic, genuine path that maybe isn't where the masses are going, your resistance is going to grow. Your negativity in other people are going to grow. Your haters, which encompasses everything, are going to grow, right? Because you're not doing the norm. You're not doing what's expected. You're not doing what they want for you. You're not doing what they think is best. And anytime that happens, well, all of a sudden, you're the bad guy. All of a sudden, well, your haters pop out. And, you know, I've realized in my life a lot of times, well, too many times, I have let negative situations, whether it be negative people, negative actual situations, um, adversity, anything that was kind of a push back to me, I would let that be my, oh, see, this is why I can't do it. Darn it. I really wanted to do this, but XYZ happened. I really want to do this, but the road's not real easy. I really wanted to do this, but everybody thinks it's a mistake. I really wanted to do this, but, you know, so-and-so told me it was dumb, so I quit. And I've missed out on some really good, oh, I can't even, y'all. I've missed out on some really good situations. I've missed out on some really good people. I've missed out on some really good opportunities. I've missed out on some very special life events. Dumb. Dumb on Megan's part. Dumb. Because I found my excuse in the negativity. I found my excuse in the resistance that was being pushed against me. This time it's different, guys. This time, you know what? I'm fighting my why and my reason and my fire against those negativities. And, you know, that visual hit me. This, this visual hit me, guys. Hey, Peter, I am choosing to be a lighthouse. I am choosing to be a lighthouse. And here's what I mean. Y'all probably read this. I'm going to be a lighthouse. So people that are out in the dark, they're out in the ocean, the boats that are out there doing their thing, they can either look at me and my light blinds them when it comes around and they can do this because the light's too bright and they're going to, every time my light comes around, it's annoying and they cover their eyes or they can look at me and they can look at my light and they can use that to find their way to shore. Choice is theirs. It's not my choice. It's their choice. But I'm going to continue to be a lighthouse. I am going to continue to shine my light and I don't care who's hiding their eyes and who's annoyed every time my light hits their windshield. I don't care. What I care about is the people that are using my light to find their way to shore. Those people matter more to me than the haters. Those people finding their way to shore and finding their own light are what stokes my fire. So I have just upped the wattage of my lighthouse. <laughs> I absolutely have. 
Um, I have just, thank you, Peter. I, I don't have in my contacts, so I'm just be reading some of these. But I have just decided I'm a lighthouse and um, don't care about the haters. And as a matter of fact, you know what? I'm doing everything this time bigger and better. Bigger and better and faster and harder to show my haters. Guess what? You're wrong. This is my path. Guess what? You're wrong. I can succeed. Guess what? You're wrong. This is for me. Not only is it for me, but I'm going to do it so big and so over the top that you cannot help but watch me. You cannot help but go, oh, dang. Okay, well, maybe it is for her, whatever. I don't care. I'm just. I'm not going to just promote. I'm going to double promote. I'm going to triple promote. I'm not just going to bring people into my business. I'm going to become a top and roller. I'm not just going to do this thing. I'm going to do this thing real big real big and I'm gonna continue to be a lighthouse for you and you can decide to block my light cover your eyes be annoyed or you can decide to use that light to get to shore and find your own path I'm not telling you my path is your path that's not what I'm saying not what I'm saying but I am saying that by seeing someone else live an authentic unafraid unfearful path it inspires others to do the exact same thing. It inspires others to say, you know what, you're right. Because if you think about it, guys, I do, Sarah, everybody does. I think the more successful you are on a uncommon path, the more your haters are. But you know what, and if you think about it, it's true. Anytime, think about it, guys. Anytime a negative situation stopped you from doing something or a negative person stopped you from doing something, if you stopped a path that you were passionate about because someone was in your ear or whatever, right? And so you, you were like, it's just not worth it. I'm going to quit this. Um, people are making fun of me or people are talking about me or people are, and you stop your path. Think about it. Your very next season in life, your very next, next little event, your very next walk down the path. Are those people even still in your life? No, no. Because they don't move forward with you. Your haters do not, will not, cannot move forward with you. Whether you stay on your path that they're giving you so much hate about. Whether you stay on that path and stay the course and just go. Whether you stay on that path or whether you give it up because of them. Either way, they're not even going to be on your path further down the road. You gave up for nothing. You walked away for nothing because haters cannot progress they can't move forward they can't step out of their misery and as soon as they have either dissuaded you off your path or they have seen that you're gonna do this thing they're gone they're on to the next person think about it it's true it really is true Good. I knew you were here. I mean, I shouted you out when I very first began. I said, this one is for you. And I hope that you would make it on. Um, if not, I said, go back to the beginning. But you're on. So, yay. Now, guys, I mean, so you need to personally decide what's important to you. To you personally. What is it? What do you want? Who do you want to be? What do you want to become? What do you want to grow? What do you want to leave for generations for your family? And does one person's nagging voice mean more than all of that? All right, I know you are. I know you are. So, lighthouse. Think about it, guys. Be a lighthouse. Shine your light as bright as you can all around. Just everywhere you can shine. Go in that circle. Keep doing your thing. Shine that light. And there are going to be some people that are super annoyed by it, that block their eyes, that just, oh, they gripe every time they see it. And there are going to be some people out in the dark on the water that use your light, that use your bravery, that use your authentic path to find their way to shore and to find their own authentic path. Because you were brave enough to not give up. To not give up. I gotta do my blush. I can't talk while I do my blush. But I mean, that's really seriously, guys. I have never, until this moment, well, until this journey, I have never, ever, 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 and this is sad for me to say, so this isn't like, ooh, I have never, ever completely and, and truly said, I don't care what you think. I don't care your opinion. 
I don't care if I feel some distance between us. Because that's your problem. It's not my problem. I didn't do anything wrong. It's not my problem. And I'm going to follow what makes me happy. I'm going to follow. It is. It, whoa, it is. It's a, I'll show y'all. I'm going to follow what makes me happy. I'm going to follow what I was called to do. And when I do, watch out. Watch out. And that was why closing the month with my new business the way that I did so strong. There were times that my husband was like, girl, let up a little bit. You're succeeding. You're killing this. You've already promoted. Like, let up a little bit. You're okay. I'm like, no, no, no. You don't understand. You don't understand. I want for once in my life, I authentically want to go, I did it. I'm doing it. I'm going to keep doing it. Now, y'all can take several seats. You all can take several seats. And it felt amazing. It feels really, really good. It does. It feels really good. I've never had the balls to do that before. I haven't. I was too concerned with what people were going to say. I was too concerned with what might be said behind my back. I was too concerned over losing people in my life. I was too concerned. You guys. You guys. My true friends, my real friends, want me to succeed whatever I do. They want me to go and shine and find my spark and be Megan. And they're going to cheer me on and they are going to root for me. Now, if you just cared about what I could do for you, if you just cared about what I could give you, if you just cared about me making your light brighter, then I probably don't need you on my new path. I probably don't. Probably don't. Just saying. Sounds rough, but it's true. <sighs> Hi, Mama. Sorry, I'm just reading. I'm, I don't have it in my contacts, guys. So I'm a bloop, 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 bloop. Yes, Sarah, it is so. How do I? Okay, first of all, Barbie, Um, I don't know. I, I, I uh, just put them on. Now, let me tell you, I couldn't wear this throughout the day or else it would end up riding back, riding back. Boop. So I just have it on for makeup. Um, But I just kind of put it beneath the bump of my head and then you have to bring it. I don't know. I just put it on. <laughs> um, but it is so amazing to say, just take a seat. Take a seat. And here's the also really cool thing. Some of your hugest haters, guys, honestly, if you don't back down to them or bow to them or bend to them, sometimes you can turn their light on. Sometimes. That shouldn't be your goal because your goal needs to be to work on you. But it's been surprising. I've seen some people come around that I never thought would come around. That I never thought would see the big picture. That I never thought would um, get in my corner. But just me staying consistent with me. And me saying, I love you, but I'm not going to quit doing me. I don't know. Something, something flipped on their light. Again, I'm not going to make that my life mission. Because my life mission is my light. And your life mission is your light. But I'm just telling you, some pretty awesome things can happen if you don't give up. So, that's pretty freeing, guys. That really is. So, that's what I really want to... I would almost... <laughs> yeah. I almost want to beg with you guys. Like, that's how... That's how just... The old me would never... The old me would bow to any kind of adversity. The old me cared way too much what anyone thought. The old me would stay in the status quo to make everyone else happy. The new me, the me that I'm in love with, she follows where she's called. And when you follow where you're truly called, man, man, this has been just mind-blowing. I'm doing things I never thought I could do. I am meeting people who, on this path, who are, oh my goodness, they are such, oh God, I just can't even, like soul sisters. And I mean, just those people that you truly pray that come into your life. When you get on your authentic path, you... Find those people that you have truly prayed your whole life. Man, you know, I wish I had a friend like that. I wish I had, you know, that partner in crime like that. You know, I wish I had that soul sister to run this business with that gets me. I wish I had another me, you know, on this team that, that I can... Those people show up all of a sudden. They just show up. Because you're finally on the road you need to be on and they've been there all along. So I just, that's my biggest thing. I could, yeah, take notes, faux show. And yes, 
You know, but it's it's easier said than done. It's easier to say, do your own thing. It's easy to say, be authentic. It's easy to say, follow your path. But guys, it is so hard. I know it is so hard and scary to actually do it. It is terrifying. Terrifying. Until you do it for a minute and then two minutes, and then five minutes, and then a week, and then your life's changing, and the people around you are changing, and you just kind of have to take a leap of faith and say, I'm going to do this thing, and I promise you it pays off. I can't even tell you guys. I promise you it pays off so hard, so hard. So be, be a lighthouse. Be a lighthouse. Shine that light as bright as you can. The ones that you annoy were never meant to be on this journey with you to begin with. They were never meant to walk this path with you. They are never going to move forward with you. What they think, say, or do has no bearing on your life. But the ones that you shine your light and they follow that light and they follow it to shore, they're the ones you're meant to be with. They may not be meant to walk exactly your path. They may not be meant to join you. They may not be meant to partner with you in any way. However, they are meant to be in your life in a very, very real way. You have inspired them and altered the course of their ship by your lighthouse. There are so many people who have done that for me and I could never give enough thanks. They will always be an important part of my life. And now it's my turn to do it for somebody else. And it's your turn to do it for somebody else. You know what I'm saying? It's just the truth. It's just the truth. So... I am, wow, see, what happens when I get on my preach with you guys? I forget to get ready. I mean, I've done a little bit of something, but I haven't done a lot because I get all go. But, uh, but that was an important message. Amanda, you definitely challenged me last night. You definitely, you're like, I'm expecting a live. I'm like, oh, crud, what about, oh, what what I miss? And you were right. Talk to the lighthouse. Talk to the why. Look what happens. Look what changes. Put, you don't have to be scared. You don't have to be afraid. You don't need to worry. You don't. If you're doing you authentically, if you are going where you're called, you don't need to be afraid anymore. There's nothing to be afraid of. There's really not. But there's everything in the world to be excited about. In your life, in the lives you're going to touch. I mean, it's just this ripple effect, you guys. It is this ripple effect. When you decide to not be afraid anymore, when you decide, I'm doing this thing, no matter what, you give others strength. You encourage others. You motivate others. You inspire. You ugh, you fill their cups and their lights come on and more lights come on and more lights come on and more lights come on. And all of a sudden, that dark ocean is just filled with lighthouses. It's just filled and you can see the shoreline for as far as you can see and it is amazing and you're like what else can I do let's go bigger let's go better let's go bigger let's go better let's keep going let's keep going Woo, y'all I'm fired up but I'm excited and I'm excited about this month of November Ira oh girl I am I am so excited about this month of November this this team this journey that I'm on I cannot imagine What's going to happen? I mean, if the first three days are any indicator, Lord, mind blown. Mind blown. And I will also tell you very humbly and very, very transparently, this come to Jesus moment is why I never hit the top rank of my other company. This come to Jesus moment, what I have finally truly embraced and become and done and said and turned on that lighthouse light, I had never done this before. I thought I had. Maybe I did in spotty moments, but I never became truly authentic and unafraid. So I could get this close to the top. I could get to that top 1%, but I couldn't hit the tippity, tippity, tippity top. Because I still had some fear. I still had some doubt. I still had things holding me back. I still, you know what I mean? So this time, just saying, I'm where I'm meant to be. My tribe has found me and they continue to find me. And we are just filling each other's cups. And it is a really amazing time in my life. And this was supposed to be me getting ready this morning. <laughs> Sorry, guys. And I really didn't. Well, I mean, I put, you can see our beautiful foundation and how smooth. Just kidding. I'm just kidding. But I do have on foundation. And a little bit of eye stuff. And a little bit of blush. 
but I thought the message was more important and that's okay. My makeup I will do later and my face will still be here. You'll still be here. Anyway guys, I need to get off of here because I need to go do some straightening up because my beautiful friend who also cleans our home will be here in a little bit. And I used to be embarrassed to say that. I used to, this is, here's a moment of truth. I used to be embarrassed to say that I paid someone to clean our home. Why? Because my haters would tell me that I was spoiled. My haters would tell me that that's overindulgent. My haters would tell me that that's bragging. My haters would tell me that I should feel bad about that. My haters would tell me that that's something I should be doing myself. Here's my message. I work hard in my business. I bust my butt in my business. I earn a good income in my business. And I have chosen a long time ago, I have chosen to have more family time by not spending the weekend cleaning our home. I have chosen to invest in time with my family, stress-free, that we are not spending the weekends cleaning our house. We are enjoying each other. I have earned that. I have worked hard for that, and I will enjoy that. And my family will enjoy that. And I am not sorry, and I am not embarrassed. And I love the amazing woman who cleans my house. It's a friend that I get to hang out with during the day. Not sorry. Not sorry. Wow, that feels amazing. Woo! So, I'm going to go do my, but my, my really weird thing that I pre-straighten up before she gets here because I hate for her to see a cluttered house. It's so weird. So, I have to get off of here, and I will talk to you guys soon, today, many times. It's Friday. Happy weekend. And, um, yeah, go be a lighthouse. Go be a lighthouse. All right, guys. Talk to you soon. Bye.